Hi friends, today in this video we are going to see about the out of memory errors in Spark. Actually out of memory is the usual error which we got in the big data cases. There is a lot of reasons behind this but in our video in today's session we are going to see about the some of the reasons for the out of memory in spot environment so we will just go and see one by one yeah let me assume that we have the some knowledge on uh, how spark works Anyway, in uh, future sessions, we will get into that uh, uh, Spark architecture and one by one. Because usually, in today, most of the people facing this out of memory error in Spark environment. So, it is very important to understand the out of memory using Spark, how, why, how it is happening and all. So, that's what I will initiate this Spark session with this out of memory. So, it will be very useful for the developers and uh, people who are facing this issue. This is what I am here yeah, to say about, to talk about the out of memory in the Spark environment. Okay. One of the, usually what we'll do, we will use the collect, there is a method called, if we have a huge data set in the, uh, which is a, uh, segregated between the different executors. If you do one process and finally you want to mix the, all the data and you want to deliver it to the, uh, output, deliver as a output. In that case, usually what we'll do, if you are using a data frame interfaces, a data, data frame API, in that case, we will use the collect method. It will help to collect the data, result data in the driver. You know, there is two main components. One is driver and the executor in Spark. And so, the card method will help us to read the data, to get all the data mixed together, uh, together in the driver. In that case, if driver not having the enough memory to, uh, to, to perform this cut operation, then there will be a out of memory issue. The driver having its own JVM and executor having its own JVM. JVM. In this cut operation usually happening in the driver. The, so it, uh, if it's not having enough memory, then it will throw the out of memory exception. So the solution for this is, yeah, another one issue is called broadcast join. We will see the solution for this in the coming slides like a, uh, the, the solution is a straightforward we have to increase the driver memory okay the first one what we see is collect operation in the driver okay and next one is the broadcast join the broadcast join uh, you know what is broadcast join it will collect the Make the own file as a small files are mixed together and keep it in the all the executors so that they will make it giants. The one table is in the data between the different executors, and one uh, file will be available, one table will be available in the all the executors. So the joining performance will be increased. That's the idea of a broadcast join. But problem here is. When you are initiating the broadcast join for a particular table, defaultly the data will be the small file will be break between the segregated between the different nodes. Then the driver driver will get the, all the small files and mix together and again keep it in the all the executors. So while mix together, if system not if a driver driver uh, 
driver not having the enough memory then it will again part up in the out of memory issue out of memory issue and also another one big problem in the broadcast join is if you are keeping that small file if you are merged to file and you keep it in the all the nodes so it is a replication of the same file same data available in the all the executors so so it will the same data occupying a particular memory in the all the executors i cannot duplication right so to avoid this kind of correct and uh, uh, broadcast join issues uh, uh broadcast join issues we have to increase the memory in the driver because of the merging happening in the driver program only so driver the driver we have to increase the memory so the solution is increase the driver memory and limit the threshold limit for broadcast table the broadcast table the small table size should we should maintain here some threshold limit if it is more than particular threshold limit we should not use the broadcast join that is the one of the solution okay so in to avoid the collect operation um, memory issues and uh, the broadcast join memory issues we have to increase the driver memory and in the broadcast join issues uh, we have to limit the threshold limit for the broadcast table these are the few solutions if you have any solution please comment it in our comment it below okay the next one is yarn memory overhead actually this issue the yarn memory overhead okay uh, the yarn memory overhead needs a certain critical memory if the memory is not enough to execute the uh, to store the particular data then it will throw the out of memory Okay, so what we will see where the YAN memory overhead will come. Actually, we know we have the name, we have the driver, we have the executors. In the executors, we have the executor container. The executor container is subdivided into YAN memory overhead and executor memory. Again, the executor memory will be subdivided into uh, execution memory and uh, storage memory. that thing will come later we will see uh, in the other video or uh, deeply about the executor memory how spark handling this executor memory but here our focus is on yarn memory overhead actually the yarn memory overhead is used to store the if we are creating a stream then the spark will create the hash table for the stream that will be stored in this yarn memory overhead actually it's a kind of a off if memory part of executor executor yarn memory overhead is the off if memory part of a executor if you are creating a particular string in the code then the it will create the hash table spark will create the hash table and it will store the hash table in the yarn memory overhead Usually, the executor it is yarn memory overhead is allocated for ten percentage of the total memory. So, under that we can uh, we can increase it uh, based on our requirement and the size of the cluster and all. And if you are using some languages like uh, Python or R programming, that that objects have to be. Will be stored in the yarn memory overhead. In this case, in this case, if yarn memory overhead not having the enough memory to store this metadata and uh, this uh, hash tables and all, then we will come across the out of memory error in the executor. Solution for this is we have to increase the off memory off memory memory actually. Uh, JVM configs and all. We have to increase this memory. Increase the size of the YAN memory. Okay. Especially the off memory part. And the next one is the concurrency. This is very important part because 
to improve the performance, usually we think like you will improve the parallel processing. As actually concurrent processing, actually the basic of a parallel processing is the concurrency, right? More if we, if we give more concurrency, then we can make uh, make our process more faster, so that improve the performance will be improved a lot. Like that, we usually think of. But that is certain problems, and also the out of memory will happen if you are giving the very high concurrency. Okay, if let's think about it, we have a uh, we have an executor. In the executor, we have the partitions. We have a more uh, multiple partitions available in the executor. Each partition have one metadata and over requirements. Each partition have the metadata. So if you are giving a if you are, if you are executing a, uh, one concurrency, let's say one concurrency, that the one concurrency will go and get the metadata and store it somewhere, and then uh, it will uh, based on the metadata, it will read the particular partition and execute the uh, logics, right? In that case, in that case, if to get the metadata and all, if for each course, if you to get the metadata and all, it if you not have enough memory. Then it will throw the out of memory error. I will come again. We are if if you are giving uh, if you are giving more cores without estimating the cluster our memory sizes at all, then it will throw the out of memory. We uh, that is our threshold. Like usually the thumb rule is we have we can give at least four or five cores. Not more than that. If you are giving more cores, then what will happen? Uh, it will each course will go and try to execute the parallelly, but each course will try to read the metadata and store the metadata, and based on that, it will read the partitions and all, uh, and uh, some of the overhead requirements. If you are trying to execute the particular logic, then uh, automatically it will create the strings or whatever logics we are writing. Then for that, it execute some overhead. Uh, Requirements. If the, we didn't have the enough memory for that one, then it will throw this out of memory error. And that's what I repeat to think that we can, we have to use the limited course. The thumbnail is not to use more than five cores, four or five cores. If we're using more than that, then it will take a more metadata spaces and all, uh, and then it will throw them out of memory. So the solution is assign limited number of cores. Okay. The next one is uh, the last one, but not least. Uh, the last one is we have unbalanced partition. One executor having the small partitions, but another one having the one uh, another one having a big partition then what will happen the small partitions the executors which are reading a small partition executors which are reading a small partitions will not impact it it will do the parallel processing it will do the processing but the executor which reading the unbalanced big partition partition then it will require the it will leads to the out of memory error. And in some and we are usually we are using the ORC or PolQ file formats. What if we are reading the PolQ or ORC file formats, then it will uncompress the data to process. In that case, it required the more memory. And also, while it is uncompressed, it will it have its own metadata and all. So as you can store the metadata and read the data say. Uh, read the data based on the metadata. So it requires uh, this kind of uh, uh, overhead memory all. So the solution for this is we have to use the, keep the data in mostly even partitions. Mostly, even. if we have big partitions, also we should uh, find a way to 
we should have a, we should break that big partition into small one. If the existing we have big partition, we have to break it into small one. That is the solution for this. So what are things we see in this one, which are causing the uh, out of memory in this video? Collect operation, broadcast join, yarn memory overhead, high concurrency, and big partition. Thank you, friends. This is our first session about Spark. So in the out of memory is an important concept, uh, which we uh, usually in our industry, we are facing it frequently. So that's why I taken this out of memory issue in the first video. So uh, in upcoming sessions, we will see the different uh, areas of Spark and uh, we'll start with the architecture and all. Okay, and I will say I'm only in the memory and all. Okay. Thank you, friends. Thanks for seeing this video. Thank you.